Hello and welcome Scorpio. This is your September 2023 general reading <clears throat> with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Looks like I have to cut back on coffee because I can't bloody pronounce it, eh? In any case, what we will do here, <laughs> Scorpions, um, we will look at the overall energy for the month of September 2023 before we then move into your emotional core. Emotional core is whether or not there's love coming in, whether or not there's healing that needs to happen. Uh, and then lastly, we will look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of September 2023. Now remember, September is the month where we have the last supermoon. Um, we had two in August, one in July, one in September, which means after this month's supermoon, energetically speaking, we're getting a bit more into calmer waters, which also is uh, important because as we're moving into autumn on um, the 23rd of September, <clears throat> so there will be an, uh, an Equinox video here on that channel. Um, it's about letting things go, right? So, so as we're moving into autumn and as we are in the month of September, the energy is already about letting go. And that cannot be underestimated because the uh, September is the ninth month. And nine is the number of completion. And what is completed is a cycle, if that makes sense. So this is the month, uh, Scorpios, <clears throat> to get as much done as you possibly could, <coughs> not prolong stuff that you know isn't working, if that makes sense, right? In any case, let's have a look what we got. <coughs> Before we go any further, I always want you to remember that the sun is the ruler of the day, the moon is the ruler of the night and you are the ruler of your own destiny. So you take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. Anyway, are you ready Scorpios? Let's have a look what we got. Whoa, you guys are not shy. They give me tons here. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. Now. Normally I ask them to give me one energy, one card, or three cards for the three topics. But since they are guides and they do whatever the heck they want, whatever the, whichever way they want to communicate, that's how they communicate. Now what they did is, they gave me four cards, and I will show them to you in a minute. But these four are for the first two topics, and as we will speak about it, that's when they will then let me know, which means there's different guides here, um, about opportunities, but these guys will not communicate um, through the cards. That is perfectly fine. Uh, for those of you who have followed my channel for quite some time, I mentioned this before, I used to do readings without cards. In order for me to get more, I have to look at people. <laughs> and the lift is the Irish, bless them. <laughs> and when, when I looked at them, they were like, stop staring at me, mister. So they were a bit uncomfortable with me um, staring at them, even though I wasn't aware that I actually do stare. Maybe I do. I don't know. Point is, I always had have had guides <coughs> um, that just talk. So anyway, Scorpios, are you ready for this? The interesting thing is that you have um, Capricorn energy and you have the ninth house. Now the ninth house is obviously also about the number nine, number of completion, but also about exploration. So what you have is you, you have Capricorn, which is about achieving because Capricorn, the association is that the Capricorn climbs up the, climbs up the hill. What that means is you will climb up the hill, but every time you climb up any mountain, it is a journey. The good thing is because you have the ninth house quite afterwards, when it comes to your overall energy, you are almost there. Don't give in to stress, don't uh, don't feel it's all crap, that kind of stuff, because that's exactly what knocks you from achieving stuff. What the guides are saying is, you know, you tackle what needs to be tackled with conviction, hence the Capricorn going up uh, the mountain, um, 
And that opens you up to checking out what else can come your way to change the situation you're in. And here's why this is so important, because there's numbers attached to it. So in the Capricorn card here, we have the number 10, which basically is the number 1, which is new beginnings. The ninth house energy here is the number 47. 7 and 4 is 11, the highest number, if that makes sense. So there's a master number here at the end of that cycle, which is really, really good. Now, since we are combining the two cards, we are also combining the numbers, which means we now have three ones. One and one and one is three. Three is the number of progression. Your job is, Scorpios, to not look at things and become complacent or give in to tiredness, whatever affects you. This is not the month to let whatever it is that affects you win. Look after whatever it is you need to do. If there is a letter you need to send somewhere, send it. If, you, if there's a phone call you need to make, make it. Don't sit there and say like, oh, I'm tired. I get that. I'm not knocking it. But it gets you nowhere because you have been given free will, which means nobody does the bloody phone call for you. Nobody can write a letter for you. And the only person that then gets nothing done is you. This is the last push, if that makes sense, because before we, we end a cycle. So you are also going through cycles that can come to an end. And if there is a cycle that you have agreed to repeat, right, um, then all you need to understand is that the difficult part is also over. It is always the same with regards to September to understand that there was a time when we had a different calendar. There were times when there were 60 days uh, um, not counted for. There were times when we had only 28 days in, in, um, in a month. Um, and then um, eventually, you know, we couldn't even do proper um, calendars, if that makes sense. Right? So the point is, time does not flow the way you feel. But energetically speaking, September oftentimes was looked at or seen as the end. But the end doesn't mean everything ends. It just means the, 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 the end before the new beginning. So we are in that month, in that energy, where a lot of stuff that isn't for you is attempting to fall by the wayside. But if there is a bit of work that needs to be done, you have to bloody do it. Okay? And then with regards to um, your emotional core. Now, this is not easy energy here when it comes to your emotional core. So that doesn't mean that nothing is happening for you, but there is a lot of tension and a lot of confrontation when it comes to you either being in a relationship that you're in or manifesting a new one. So because you have the square and semi-square, uh, uh, because I'm using an astrology deck, in the energy, the square is a really, really bad aspect. There's no two ways about it. If you have a, you have a square in your chart, um, <laughs> you're fucked. Well, it's maybe not not quite so bad, but the, but every time you have a square in your in your chart or in your in your astrology, um, things whatever is in your square does not only not work together, but they literally oppose each other. Hence, you have the topic of, of opposition and therefore the topic of confrontation as well. Now, the numbers that you have is 54 and 53. So you have 107. 1 and 7 is 8. 8 is the number of stumbling blocks. What the guides are saying, you can um, expect this month to be impatient so when it comes to you manifesting new relationship, it is time to let go what you haven't released from old relationships. Remember, if you are manifesting a new relationship, but you harbor whatever pain, trauma or bad thoughts about the person before, the new person will be nicer because that's what you manifest, that's what you're asking for, but needs to have some traits of the old person so this can be triggered out. See what I mean? So, but releasing anything is not going to be easier either because the entire, we, we talked about this in the overall energy that there is this like being fed up energy around Scorpios and um, it doesn't, it doesn't serve you. And the only way to override this is by being 
even more obnoxious, but this time toward yourself. No, I'm not going to let that affect me. No, I am looking at this. That kind of energy. So on a whole, the entire energy so far of the month, well, not so far, the entire energy of the month of September for the sign of Scorpio is needing to be in your face, proactive and super direct. And when it comes to releasing old pain and when it comes to making your relationship work, don't be timid. Right? Whatever needs to be discussed, of course, nobody asks you to, 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 to <laughs> you know, harm someone. Um, but you understand the concept. If there is a, a problem that has been there for quite some time, which is also how this looks here. So we're not talking about uh, uh, issues that all of a sudden flare up that are new. No. This is about stuff that you have witnessed for quite some time. Um, make sure you speak up, but expect the other party not necessarily to be fully understanding. <clears throat> So when it comes to opportunities uh, that come your way, you have to look at either going on a break, going on a trip, or maybe relocating. Um, whether or not this is for good, I have no idea. The energy that I'm getting is that you have to look at, at the location you're in, right? Am I living in the right place? Is my home my safe haven from which it is easier for me to manifest a new beginning, that sort of energy. But what I'm getting is if you could just have a break a couple of days away and try not to think about the same old shit that you that you think about when you're home, that will give you um, new energy to look at what to do next. But there's something about location, Scorpios, that at this point in time has become stale. And in order to manifest new beginnings, in order to manifest opportunities, you have to remove yourself from state energy, but that doesn't mean you have to run away, walk away for good. I'm not getting that. It's just that once you are trying to figure stuff out in an environment that isn't working, just is not really working for you. Scorpios, that was your September 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. That's all we got. Please like, subscribe and share. Really, really important. Um, yeah, and um, that's it. That's all we got. See you. See you next month. And always remember that the sun is the ruler of the day, the moon is the ruler of the night, and you are the ruler of your own destiny. See you next time.